from the road. Look at me. Oh, I'm driving and videotaping at the same fucking time. I just can't get <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I, I, I blew that crazy taco stand back there. Um, yeah, it's nice, peaceful being out in the grove. Slept great. Man, them coyotes howling all night long, man. I mean, it's just like, that place is like Coyote Central over there. I mean, it sounded like they were almost like right outside the tent. It was really neat. So, yeah, but, you know, I'm just like, you know, I'm an, I'm, I like Buddhism. It's probably the one religion that I feel like I, I respect, I respect that religion, because, you know, I mean, it, pretty much through all, Buddha, you know, Buddhist history, there's never been any war started by a Buddhist, you know, or any of that, and, you know, and I like the whole general tenet, you know, ending suffering, you know, um, you know, trying to follow the precepts, you know, no smoking, no drugs, no cut lying, no killing, you know, it's beautiful stuff, and I got a guy behind me, and I know I'm going too slow for him, but, eh. <sighs> but, you know, I'm, <coughs> let's see, uh, you know, I, I took refuge back in 2007 at the Sea Light Temple up in Hacienda Heights, the, uh, quote-unquote, largest Buddhist temple in the Western Hemisphere. Anyway, I took refuge there um, in 2007, like I said. I, I like to go there, you know, the beautiful place. I love it. It's peaceful, you know. I mean, it's a little, it's in the middle of a freaking city, you know, um, Austin Heights. But, uh, you know, I mean, I'll go there for lunch, have the vegetarian lunch and shit. But anyways, I'm just not into... Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm not racist. All right, I'm gonna say that real quick. I'm not racist. But that being said, um, about I'd say 98, 99 percent of the people that go to the Sea Light Temple are Asian. You know, they're from China or Thailand, and maybe a couple of other company, you know, countries in Asia, and. That's great, man, you know. But I'm, you know, white boy, American, whatever the fuck you want, want to say. But, and I kind of, there's times I feel like I don't fit in, you know. And, you know, I feel, I remember one time I was hanging out there and, and this little, little Asian boy came up to me and he said, Why are you here? <laughs> I'm here to see the Buddha. And, you know, he's like, oh, you know, he kind of gave me that look like I shouldn't, you know, like, what, you know, why are you in my land? You know, I was just kind of, I, you know, it kind of stuck in my craw a little bit. Anyways, uh, you know, and, and then we had, you know, the, where I live, and you know, where I've been living for the last year, almost two years, um, I'm the only white guy, American or whatever, white guy that's living there. Everybody else is Asian. Uh, you know, they're either from the Philippines, they're from Thailand, or they're from Laos. You know, and you know, and out of or, or Chinese, and that's you know, I'll get to that. Um, and I, I like it there, man. You know, good people. You know the. the some of the food they cook smells a little goofy, but yeah, yeah, I, I get out, I get, I get over that, you know. Fucking, they leave me alone. I mind, my, my, I mind my own business. They mind theirs, you know. I get yeah, fucking great pad, private entrance, cheap, you know. But uh, you know, it's like we had a new guy. This, you know, Chinese guy moved in. I never did get learn his name. Moved in a couple months ago. And when he moved in, you know, a few days after he moved in, we were talking, and you know, and, you know, I got my little Buddhist shrine going out in the backyard, and you know, and you know, and, you know, I'm, I meditate, you know, on occasion, you know, and I'm not a 
hardcore practitioner of meditation, but I do meditation on, I meditate on occasion. And I like it. I enjoy it. I love the way it makes me feel. Anyways, I told him that I go to the Shilai Temple. <laughs> and he just, uh, he laughed. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I like go up there. I like to meditate in the main shrine. You know, they got the lunch, you know, the vegetarian lunch for, you know, seven bucks. Cheap. You know, it's good food. You know, I love that temple. You know, I, and he laughs. He's like, you know, and he, and, he, and he told me a truth. He's like, you know, he's like, I go there sometimes. He said, and we laugh at you guys, you Americans. We don't know why you come here. And I'm just like, what? You know, it kind of, you know, you know, in a way, kind of, you know, I mean, he's just one guy saying, but in a way, it kind of confirmed my suspicions. You know, and, uh, you know, God bless him and all that, you know, but I don't believe God, but God bless him. More power to them, but, you know, I'm just like, you know. Anyways, if there's one thing on Buddhism that I really do enjoy, I, I like, you know, I, I, I admire most is, is Zen Buddhism. You know, because in my view, in my opinion, it, it's kind of more like a hot rotted, stripped down version of Buddhism, you know, of, of all the other traditions. You know, straight to the point where, you know, it's like where I just left was, uh, you know, Thera this Theravada, you know, Buddhist, you know, temp monastery, and, you know, and it's like the, the abbot was uh, Ejon Chef, that was his name, I finally got it, yay, and he was, he went, he was trained in the, Tha you know, in Thailand, became, took, you know, you know, he did his whole thing, monk thing, in, in Thailand, and you know, came back. He was an old, he's a white guy, but anyway, neither here nor there. But uh, anyways, I just kind of didn't feel the vibe. Didn't feel the vibe. You know, it's kind of a shame, but you know. And a couple of people there kind of just kind of I mean they didn't know me and they only knew I'd be there for a couple of days you know or a day or two and, you know and they knew that, you know it's like why bother you know it's like I'm kind of the same way it's like why bother getting to know somebody if you're but I'm not I'm not like I like I'm a talker look at me I'm talking like a fool right now oh 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 no Starbucks <laughs> anyway. but a couple of folks there kind of made me feel you know a little um, uneasy, you know, kind of like, you know, it's like, not welcome, you know, you know, I'm just like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm just not into it, you know, I'm, I'm out, you know, so I loaded up my stuff and hit the road, Jack, and I didn't go back, so anyways, I'm on my way home, back up north, gonna go hit REI, you know, pick up some trekking poles, Need it because my knees suck. I know I need it. Um, I got my freaking, I got my tent dialed in. I'm styled with knowing how that's gonna work and that's gonna be badass. Uh, my sleeping bags. Oh my god. You know, I mean, it, it was, it wasn't, it was probably, it probably got down to maybe the mid 50s last night, and I was in and out of the sleeping bag bags. It was just, it, was, it would get me really freaking warm, man. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So. You know, um, I got my. What's this guy doing? <sighs> Car train, yay! Anyways, you know, like I got my little solar panel action back here. That's pretty cool. Um, got the seat gone from my car. Look at this, no passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know, that's gonna be for. You know, I got this big, big wooden storage box that'll fit perfectly right there. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, right now I'm thinking I'm gonna keep all my cooking materials in it and everything, you know. Do a little bit of car camping. You know, I'll be camping a lot out of my car, I think. I'm a little gorilla camping. You know, um, it's gonna be fun, man. 
I'm really jazz on this trip. Anyways, I can start rambling along now, talking and talking and talking. I think I'm gonna listen to some music, some, you know, uh, put on some JB Beverly and the Wayward Drifters, and some old country, country tunes, and just enjoy the day. You know, enjoy this fucking too much traffic going out the ocean side. You know, I'm gonna go up the coast highway. That'll be neat. Maybe I'll stop at San Onofre and take a couple pictures. You know, see what the waves look like. Just you know, be there. Shit, I should have brought my surfboard. I should have brought my freaking surfboard. I'm kicking myself in the ass. Anyways, neither. Another day. Anyways, that's it for now. Be good to yourself. Peace, love. Ooh, life is good. I bet this guy in a car behind me is going, "What? The, who's this guy talking to?" I don't even think he's thinking. He's probably just fucking going, what is this traffic? Anyways, late. Bye.